Hello everyone, I'm back here in Endless Edge. Dun dun dun. And I'm not sure exactly what's going on and why I don't have my wing rings equipped. Because I really should have those equipped. Wow, that took my health down really far. Let's just do some organizing here. Oh, I'm glad you showed up. I have a party I'm planning and I need some items and decorations. Can you please help me? But I'm not invited. Of course I can. Fine. Fifteen pieces of candy corn. Candy corn? Where am I supposed to find candy corn at? Oh, you're new. In fact, uh, this whole, uh evil looking area in the town kind of looks new. I remember there being screaming skulls and reapers everywhere. Got it. Doing that good, so let's go back to our trusty soul sword. Man, it's been a while since I played this, so I don't remember half the stuff, but I remember that whacking things with a sword tends to kill them. So let's stick with that. I really don't have the health for that, but I have a couple of health potions for some reason in my inventory, so I'll use those. What was I up to the last time I played this? Because I don't remember. Okay, these guys aren't dropping anything. Thing is, they're all over the place. I'm assuming they probably have something. Ah, they dropped the candy corn. That's what they do. Five K? Where? I see five K laying around anywhere? You shouldn't eat the candy corn, silly. You're supposed to give it to that girl. Oh no, we have our own candy corn. Buying teeth. Why do you need teeth? You're a panda. You're a panda, silly. You just eat grass and leaves. Alright. Ooh, she has a nice hat. The scare. Yeah, they look like scarecrows. I'm pretty sure they are. The scarecrow uh, costumes. That's what they are. I'm pretty sure they are. Um. I'm assuming they're coming from this event because I've never seen those costumes before. That must be what I get from this quest when I complete it or something. I think it's a better time to get into a l something a little bit different. Let's go with our re Reaper's costume set. That's what I like to call it anyhow. I think another good name for it would be Mysterious Stranger Set or something. Because it just looks shady. That's really the closest thing I have to a Halloween kind of costume. So I'll stick with this. Alright, let's look around. Need some more Screaming Skulls to come at me from... The pits of hell, I assume. For some reason, I imagine if I stepped on that lava, it'd probably damage me or something. Nothing! Just what I've always wanted from... Screaming school, nothing. 
Why would a screaming skull have candy corn anyhow? Ooh, you have a quest too. Trick or treat bag, huh? Twenty bat wings. Well, we'll deal with that quest after the first one. I don't remember quite well where bat wings are. <laughs> Why would you put bat wings in a trick or treat bag? I don't think they have taste very good. Oh, I'm out of potions. Oh wait, I have some in my hand. Silly me. Although it's only two, so it's not very much. Turtle! Actually, now I think the lava might be a teleport, because someone just ran straight into it and disappeared. Don't know where it goes, though, if that's true. Hey, another candy corn, that's good. I don't know what these creatures are, whatever they are. Probably nothing good. Oh, I shouldn't go here. Potions are much cheaper in the desert. I'm kind of interested in seeing how much of the uh, town has been transformed like this. Because it's definitely taking on some looks of the underworld here. How much exactly, I do not know. They should have replaced the church bell with a skull. Now these guys are much easier to kill than the other screaming skull people. What's this? Vampire teeth. It's a vampire teeth. Those guys didn't look like vampires, so I don't know why they would have vampire teeth, but whatever. I won't question it. Huh. Uh, another one. If I remember correctly, these These teeth might be what they were talking about earlier when I saw them. That panda. Well, they didn't drop any more, that's for sure. I'm almost dead, so I better go get the potions. <laughs> to the desert. Away! Maybe I can ask somebody about this stuff. How about you? You have one of those costume things, so maybe you would know. Or you can ignore me. That's good too. Alright, I'm back, and it's been a while. It's been quite a while. This candy corn took quite a while to get. Yeah, I need rat tails. I need 15 of them. These are going to be much easier to get than these candy corn, that's for sure. I imagine the rat tails will take me a half hour tops. That is, unless somebody's been camping them as well. Because the rat tails are easily probably gotten the best from the witch's house.
Because there's like six or seven of them in this house. No joke. They're like everywhere. There's also some in the sewers too, but there's a lot less and they're much more spread out. It doesn't help that the sewers are basically like a maze too, so... Yeah, somebody left a rat tail in here for me. Okay, I have four rat tails, so... Not too, too bad. Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Only need 11 more. Alright, let's go looking. Do, 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 do. Sarah, have your rat tails. Go ahead, tap them. Only bandages. 15 of them. For some reason, I'm beginning to believe everything will be in increments of 15. Mummy bandages aren't that hard to get either, but they are a bit far away. They're over, like, in the deeper swamp area. So I do have a little bit of, uh... Everybody wants these vampire teeth. Um, yeah. It's gonna be a l Okay. Well. Almost done getting these bandages. Pretty close to it. I only need one more. Free brainwashed. What? Come on, I only need like a couple more mummies. They tend to drop stuff. The only bad thing is they tend to drop swords more than they drop bandages. There we go. Fifteen. Use our scroll and get out of here. Cause I did not want to walk all the way back. Cause that's quite a walk. Uh, 10? I'm pretty sure you said 15. Okay, so now you need vampire teeth and you need 15 of them. So I'm basically at the point of where a lot of other people are from what I've been hearing. So let's go find some vampire teeth then. need 14 of them. Yeah, I had to refresh there. Someone was overlaying me. I probably could use my gun against those chaos spawn. They weren't very powerful at all. But they're always in the areas of where the screaming skulls are. That's a problem. Yeah, I knew there was some up here. Nothing. I'm actually. Hey, everybody. Uh, just checking in. Still working on the vampire teeth, but, uh. For the moment here, this is where I've been camping out. These teeth do not like to drop, let me tell you that for sure. They just don't like the drop, I don't know why. Elmo's world, huh. 
Okay, well, yeah, I got that. Stole it right from in front of you. I love this gun. I don't particularly find it cheating compared to magic users, because magic users just... I hate them. They basically just steal every monster in the area. Yeah, better switch from the sword. Found some monster flash kind of just sitting around outside of uh, the guild house for some reason. I'm gonna hold on to it because I assume it's probably part of the quest at some point. It's only five, so I'll probably have to collect ten more or something. Shoot, now I'm getting ganged up on by skulls, and I don't like that. I do not like you skulls. Go away. I do, however, want you to cast spawn. And no teeth, of course not. Fate does not smile on me today. That much I know for certain. And this guy brings more flaming skulls. Did I mention that they can jump from spawn to spawn by following you? Like ones from up that path will come down here, somebody brings them down here. It's kind of annoying. And these chaos spawn, there's so few of them, seriously. It's ridiculous in some points. seen five people camping in one spot over them in another spot. There's like three places that I know of where they come from. And there's a couple places that they just show up at around the paths around town. Like one or two out of nowhere. Okay. That this is taking so long that um I'm seriously about to get a level up. I'm about to go to level 16, so I figured I'd record it when I do, as I do all my other levels up. All it's gonna take is one more enemy from whatever it is, flaming skulls or chaos spawn. I hope it's a chaos spawn, because then I can actually get done pretty quickly. I've gotten into the, um... motion of trying to get the skulls to pay attention to the other people around me than me. Except he's apparently, this guy is apparently noticing my plan to do that and it's not lugging the skulls around him. Now there's two attacking me. He could probably just leave and uh... Oh, he got that. Great. Wonderful. I have to kill these, don't I? I could probably just go through that uh pathway over there and yeah, I got that. Snuck it right out from under you. Shot right through him to get to the monster. All right, level up. I kind of wish the one I had to level up on would have given me vampire teeth, but 
Guess we can't have everything. I'm gonna focus on my con and my strength. Strength raises my attack power and con raises my health. I think those two things are probably worth the most. Although I don't know what would raise my defense, that'd be another one that I'd want to pay attention to. So now I have 200 health with the rings, and my strength went up to um, 13, I think it was 12, 13 with the gun, I think that's what it was. Okay, well, finally back. And I kind of froze up there for a second. That was the recorder doing that. But whatever. You can have these. You need sick teeth, 15 of them. I can do that. Do that one. Right. Here's your snake teeth, and now you need snake rattles. Figures. I actually have a couple snake rattles right here. I have nine of them, actually. So, I'll just go ahead and get the other six. They won't take very long at all. Like, seriously, they won't. I actually found, like, all these rattles that I have on the ground, because somebody's been killing snakes for some reason without even bothering to pick up the teeth or rattles when I was there. Okay, I got ten rattles already. And these snakes I take out in like one hit. I don't want teeth now, I want rattles. I feel kinda mean for taking his snake kills, but you know, I need these rattles. This is also the only spot I know of that has snakes. I didn't even remember a spot that had snakes before. I had to ask somebody and they said it was over by the beginner's area with the sheep and I'm like, there were snakes back there? Because I'm pretty sure there were before. But apparently there's snakes here now. There's some snakes up here, too. Come on. Eh, the gold's okay, but I'd rather have the rattles and get this over with. Like that. Three more. Like I said, this isn't going to take a very long time. They just like to give me drops that I don't want. And they spawn pretty quickly. Gold. Grab the gold. All right, that's thirteen. Don't need teeth. One more. Oh, I was hoping that would have given me my last one, but whatever. Whatever. That's a tooth. Come on. They all want to give me snake teeth now when I don't need it. Ah, there we go. Last rattle. Now we can go back up to, uh... Sarah and see what's after this. And 
didn't know there was some screaming skulls all the way down there. I didn't know they spawned down there. Maybe somebody brought it down there. Alright. Here you go. Oh, it's over. Huh. Male costume. Ooh, pumpkin tuxedo and pumpkin top, top hat. These are definitely good looking, that's for sure. I want to change out the shoes though, for sure. Get some orange looking shoes. This looks great, though. The other um, one must give out the uh, Scarecrow one. It's odd, because I haven't seen anybody really wearing this one. I've seen quite a couple people wearing the Scarecrow one, but not the this one. I'm sure there's an orange pair of shoes or boots or whatever. That one's pretty orange, so I'll pick that one. It's a little off, but it's probably the closest I'm going to get. Yeah, no dark orange. Has to be light orange. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to go do that other, other quest. And I'll probably just do that one all off screen. It seems to be just the same thing for the most part, with a couple different ingredients. Pretty much just a chain quest of getting a bunch of stuff, starting with 20 bat wings for whatever reason. So yeah, I'll be sure to start that one up. I forget how much space this locker has. I'm kinda worried now that I have almost 30 spaces filled up. For some reason I'm thinking the space limit is 50 or something, but I know I can upgrade it, I just don't know my, I don't remember if I've upgraded it completely or not. Alright. snake rattle, so I'll leave it there for somebody else to have. Okay, 20 bat wings. Alright, let's start it. Okay. I'm not very happy right now. So I was like in the middle of the quest chain, and one of the things I needed was mummy bandages again. And I'd already begun, uh, I had asked on the world chat if I needed vampire teeth and candy corn again. Because I realized that at some point I had to use candy corn again. Already did it. Okay, I'm almost to level up now. Yeah, I was like so upset earlier. Because, um,. I'm level 17, by the way. I was upset earlier because I used up mummy bandages, and it took away my vampire teeth. I don't know why that was, but maybe some sort of bug in the quest or something. But yeah, it's all taken care of, though, but I was fuming earlier. But yeah, it's about time to, um... Get the, uh... It's over with. Male. Could you imagine if you accidentally hit female? Man, that probably just makes somebody so angry. Looks nice. I don't know what kind of shoes I'd use with it though, probably brown. That actually looks pretty neat too. 
scarecrow suit with the pumpkin hat. In fact, that might be the way I roll with this. For now, I'll keep the scarecrow full set. Looks like the hair sticks out, though. Alright, well, this has been the, uh, on this edge, uh, Halloween event. Don't think there's anything else to do besides these two quests. So I think I'm pretty much done. I've heard the beast maze has not opened up yet, so I can't do that yet. But eventually I'll get to that. This. I don't know why I'm fighting this. I could make like quite a bit of money if I if I stick around and uh, collect up candy corn vampire teeth, sell them at full sets of fifteen each. I make quite a bit of money for that actually. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. The quest is supposed to end pretty soon. By the time you see this video, it might have already ended. Not quite sure about that though. It's supposed to be extended one more day. Well, I think that's pretty much it, so... Let's get one more shot of the town center here, and... I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys next, I guess. See ya.